y a sûrement quelqu'un de connu ou d'inconnu qui a pensé un jour que l'art était une simple question d'énergie, de tension et d'intensité. À partir de ça, vous pouvez imaginer une jolie formule. Comme quoi, par exemple, il n'y aurait pas de plus belle métaphore de l'art que l'électricité. Pour l'art contemporain, en tout cas, c'est une évidence. Son obsession, ce serait plutôt le flux, l'éphémère, le courant. Et puisque la chose est invisible, il s'agit de suivre sa trace sonore. Crépitement, l'arsène, bourdonnement, toutes les musiques de l'électricité. Un étrange chasseur de sons collectionne les ondes électriques, ingrédients de son travail en studio. Rich Chatham a surtout insufflé une énergie nouvelle dans la musique contemporaine en utilisant des instruments jusque-là réservés au rock. En premier lieu, avec ses guitares très 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 électriques. Well, if I start at the very beginning, I really have to start with uh, my family. I come out of a long line of astrologers. Uh, and I'm an astrologer myself. And in my astrological chart, I have the planet Uranus uh, directly in front of my eyes. The planet Uranus in astrology symbolizes electricity. So throughout my entire life, I've been seeing the world through a kind of sunglasses that aren't rose colored, but in fact are colored with electricity. And so when I became interested in making music, uh, almost immediately I started working uh, through electrical means. We had a composer uh, named Tony Conrad, who was one of the founders of minimalism in America. I started playing with uh, Tony's group, uh, and through him and these other composers, became interested in music of long duration. Uh, then one day, I was in my apartment and I heard this amazing, amazing sound uh, coming from my refrigerator, in fact. Uh, so I got a tape recorder and took my microphone and recorded the sound of this refrigerator. It was just so beautiful. I could have listened to it for hours and hours and hours. And in fact, I did. Uh, I made a composition with it. Uh, whose duration was relatively short for the period of time. This was in 1970. Uh, the duration, I think it was 69 minutes. Uh, I took the sound of the uh, refrigerator and then put it down uh, by an octave. Uh, the sound was very, very beautiful. Uh, I don't know how well the audience uh, took hearing a refrigerator for one hour, But uh, some of them thought it was very beautiful, and some of them walked out. So this then was my, uh, the beginning of my story with electricity. Electricity is something that uh, I've worked with all my life that I feel very comfortable with and that uh, I need to work with in order to produce the, the, the work that I do. Uh, an idea that I once had was to experience electricity directly uh, by putting my finger into a wall so socket. Uh, it a, was a very profound experience uh, when I did that, especially... Uh, one can do that in America because the voltage is much lower than it is here in Europe. Uh, it's only 120 volts. And uh, to experience electricity in this direct way 
uh, is a very profound thing. A way that might be a little bit safer, though, is to experience electricity through the uh, medium of music, uh, to let it pass through your body in this way. Uh, and it's a method that uh, I would highly recommend.